When it comes to Capcom's best-selling franchise, there's sure to be a lot of characters to praise. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Welcome to WatchMoto.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Resident Evil characters. Don't make me do this. From heroes to villains, from mercenaries to respectable soldiers, these are the fictional men and women of the Resident Evil universe we find worthy of celebration. I'll remember that. There's no strict limitation on who can appear here so long as the character has appeared in at least one game. So, no Alice on this list, thank God. I couldn't agree more. Number 10, Louise Sarah. Okay, it's game time. Though known for appearing in only one game, that takes nothing from this adept Spanish scientist. Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy. After leaving his village for some time, Luis comes back to find the Los Illuminados cult in control and accepts their offer to experiment on the Plagas Parasites, serving as a researcher for the cult. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. However, by Resident Evil 4, Luis's better nature began to arise. When US agent Leon Kennedy came to rescue the president's daughter, Luis was more than willing to help. I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics too. How rude! He's at once a helpful friend and a bit of a sleazy womanizer, but we like him all the same. Hey, senorita, got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Number 9, Carlos Oliveira. <laughs> it seems the Umbrella Corporation doesn't corrupt everyone. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Take Carlos here, though he's employed as an operative of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. This former guerrilla soldier is far more charismatic than his cohorts. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. As the events of Resident Evil 3 progress, it becomes apparent that Oliviera's knack for mercenary work disguises his charming swagger and underlying sense of morals. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. By the game's end, Carlos has gone as far as saving Jill Valentine's life, marking him as a decent guy. Time job. Number 8, Rebecca Chambers. It's me, Chris. Rebecca. This girl's wiser than her age would suggest. When she was 18, Rebecca Chambers was recruited into the Bravo team of Raccoon City's Special Task Force and Rescue Service, or STARS. Her primary field of study being medicine, Rebecca was made Bravo Team's medic. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Surviving the events of both Resident Evil and its prequel, Resident Evil Zero, was not easy. But Rebecca managed it through her plentiful intelligence and willingness to adapt to changing situations. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. Number 7, Ada Wong. Long time no see. Good, evil, right, wrong. With Ada Wong, everything is kind of ambiguous. So it is true. True? About what? Her first appearance in Resident Evil 2 was as a seemingly innocent civilian, drawn into the slow devastation of Raccoon City. Give me a hand here, will you? However, with the release of Resident Evil 4 in 2005, Ada's role as a freelance agent working for the highest bidder became apparent. More than that, though, Ada maintains an elegant balance between professionalism and personal bias. You're not playing around, are you? While she is more than willing to betray allies for her objective, her flirtatious relationship with Leon Kennedy indicates she's not without compassion or something. So cute. Number six, Barry Burton. I'm here, baby. Please be alive. He might be old, but don't underestimate him. Starting out as an early member of STARS, Barry Burton soon distinguished himself as a kind yet focused agent for good. Thanks, you saved us. I couldn't let you die. Is, is it you? Are you ready to finish this? Though he was manipulated into betraying STARS as Alpha Team, Barry made it his mission to redeem himself. And over the years, he's been responsible for more than a few close saves. Hurry! This way! Add to that the penchant for one-liners and an impressive choice of weaponry, and you have a character worthy of praise. <laughs> Who's the master of unlocking now, huh? Number five, Chris Redfield. <laughs> Truth and justice are embodied by many, including this man. I'll keep her busy! Just go for the emergency elevator! Ex-Air Force pilot Chris Redfield became a member of STARS Alpha Team in time for the events of the first Resident Evil. Lucky him. Uh, oh my head.
head's killing me. Since the Spencer Mansion, Chris has become a strong-willed, enduring, and highly capable leader, especially in the fight against bioorganic weapons. Tell the men we're moving out. Chris's increasingly absurd strength is matched only by his loyalty to his allies and to the mission. Shoot him! Number four, Claire Redfield. <sighs> I'm finally here. Not every member of the Redfield family is a trained soldier. Claire, for instance, was a university student searching for her brother Chris in her first appearance. Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Since then, however, she's proven herself a force to be reckoned with. While electing to work for the human rights group TerraSafe, Claire has proven to be a fierce combatant and an expert on BOWs. You did your homework. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey. Balancing a kind demeanor with a willing use of firearms, Claire's strength endures on all fronts. Number three, Albert Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. A more iconic villain for Resident Evil there may never be. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? Albert Wesker began as simply the leader of Alpha Team in the original Resident Evil, before revealing himself as a traitor for the Umbrella Corporation. I think you're a bit confused. Then subsequent games cast his role in a more ambiguous light, highlighting one key fact. Wesker is always playing everyone for his own game. I'm not destroying the world, I'm saving it. By the time Resident Evil 5 came around, Wesker has gone from sneaky double agent to power-mongering conqueror to be, which is rather impressive, honestly. Well played, douchebag. Well played. Huh. This isn't over, Chris. Number two, Leon Kennedy. What have we got here? From ordinary cop to talented secret agent, such is the legacy of Mr. Kennedy. First introduced in Resident Evil 2 as a rookie police officer on his first day of work, Leon distinguished himself through his ability and steadfast courage, as well as his compassion. You okay? Still in one piece. Leon's career after the fall of Raccoon City quickly sent him across the globe, cementing him as an action hero to be respected and feared. I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. In fact, even Leon's rivals recognize how cunning he can be. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You want to tell me what the hell just happened? Long story. I have secured G. I'm all that is left of Alpha Team. I'm en route to the rendezvous right. point. Look, I hate to rush introductions, but I need a report on your situation. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those mon- Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot! You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? Number one, Jill Valentine. A sandwich she is not. <laughs> You're right. Jill stands as a remarkable survivor of the franchise, beginning as an ex-Delta Force operative who was recruited for the Alpha Team of Stars. Jill's role as rear security for Alpha Team served her well as she has constantly overcome danger thanks to her skill in combat and keen survival instinct. Whether she's battling the unrelenting nemesis or breaking free from brainwashing, Jill Valentine is at once awesome and inspiring to behold. You're our only hope to survive this. And yes, she's a master of unlocking. Start talking. Calm down, I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Do you agree with our list? Nobody's expendable. Exactly. Who's your favorite character from the Resident Evil franchise? For more personality-filled top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls.